The first week of NCAA indoor track and field just kicked off this past weekend with tons of athletes competing all over the country, mostly on the distance end when looking at the top athletes. But today, we're gonna take a look at the top five athletes that I'll be looking out for in the 2023 NCAA indoor season, specifically in the sprints and the jumps. Today, we're taking a look at the women's side, but be sure to check out the video I just did previewing the athletes on the men's side that we should be watching for. First off in the sprints, Favor Ophili representing LSU from Nigeria. Now, Ophili had a legendary sophomore season in the NCAA that included finishing second place at NCAA indoors with a personal best of 22.46 seconds, moving her to number nine in NCAA history. Outdoors, she also became the first athlete to ever run sub 22 seconds with her 21.96 collegiate record. She also won the 100 and 200 meters at SECs and finished second place in the 200 at NCAAs. The biggest thing going for Philly this year is that Abby Steiner from Kentucky has gone pro. Steiner was the indoor and outdoor NCAA champion in the 200 as well as the NCAA record holder in the 200 as well. So without her in the NCAA, Ophelia low-key has a clear path to potentially improve upon her season from last year and be extremely dominant during indoors. Next up, Talitha Diggs representing Florida. She had a somewhat underrated season that turned into being the top 400 meter season for a US woman in 2022. Won the NCAA indoor title, then came through outdoors to win the 400 title once again, arguably as the underdog. Finally, she went on to win the USA championship title in the 400 meters, beating out some of the best women in the country and going on to compete at the world championships. Now, Dick showed that she is all business and should never be overlooked. Because of what she's done last year, I think we can very well assume she has longer term goals and the NCAA will just be a small part of that. But look for her to defend her indoor title this season and who knows what's gonna happen outdoors. Still at Florida, but now in the field, we have Jasmine Moore. Again, one of the most dominant athletes in the NCAA last year across all events. Arguably could have won the Bowerman this year despite not making the top three finalists. But not only did Moore win both the long jump and triple jump at the indoor championships, she followed that up and won both events again at the outdoor championships as well. She even made the US team to the world championships in both events. She broke the NCAA record in the triple jump indoors with 14.75 meters. So we can very likely expect her to attack that once again. And it wouldn't surprise me to see her go for the long jump record as well, potentially capturing another long jump, triple jump double indoors. Now, there is a reason why Florida is such a powerhouse. Next up, we have Grace Stark. Now, while at Florida, last year, she lost only a single 60 meter hurdle race indoors, only to Aaliyah Armstrong, who arguably was one of the greatest athletes in the world going on to world championships. Stark went on to not only win the NCAA indoor 60 meter title, but she also equaled the NCAA record of 7.78 seconds set by Brianna Rollins McNeil back in 2013. Stark got injured outdoors last year, so she was unable to compete for the 100 meter hurdle title, but look for her to rebound in 2023, defend her 60 meter hurdle title, and maybe even improve that NCAA record. So those are just five athletes to look out for as we approach the 2023 NCAA indoor season. There are of course a plethora of athletes that I left off, but go in the comments below and let me know who on the women's side you're keeping an eye out for in the NCAA. Make sure you check out the top five men's athletes that we should be looking out for in the NCAA in 2023. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching.